Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Sheldon Stevens. And I'm Ken Abuse. Welcome back to Bobcat TV. Today we have an interview for the library. As well as information on scholarships. Stay tuned for these stories and more. Bobcat, Bobcat TV, TV starts now. Beginning Monday morning, March the 8th, BNHS students previously assigned to ride Bus 121 will begin riding Bus 136. If you are interested in running for one of our class officer, class representative, student body officer, or student body committee chair positions, you must attend either in person or via Zoom one of the mandatory meetings scheduled next week. Contact Tammy McClure at tmcclure at nisdtx.org for the Zoom link. Attend or Zoom to one of the meetings shown here. Attention graduating students, check out the BNHS Counseling website for Class of 2021 scholarship application information. You must also pick up tangible copies of these scholarships applications in the BNHS Counseling Office Go Center. Now here's Patrick with our school librarian. Hey Bobcats, right now I'm here with... I'm Brooke Woods, the librarian. And Miss Woods, what's kind of going on in the library right now? Okay, well this month, beginning in March, which is today, we're going to be celebrating March Madness. So in the library, you're going to find QR codes scattered around the library. You're also going to see some brackets, and those brackets are hosting books. And so what you can do is you can go to the tiny URL that's shown, and there's going to be a quick, fast little slideshow. You can click Vote Here, and you can vote for your favorite books that will then go into a smaller bracket until we have a final two battle. Awesome. Thank you so much. This past Tuesday, Governor Abbott lifted the mask mandate in the state of Texas. However, due to the health concerns, Dr. Warren has decided that NISD will still continue to follow all previous COVID protocols to the end of the school year. So make sure you're still wearing your mask on campus. Have you ever wanted to know how to change a tire? Here's Pedro with the student resource officers to show you how. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys. Hello, Bobcats. I'm here with Officer Watkins. And uh, who's your friend right there? So I have here with me today is Officer Mahan with the Roanoke Police Department. And he is also our vehicle maintenance guy. And uh, we're actually here to teach you guys a few basic maintenance things that you guys should know for your vehicle. Well, let's first talk about checking your tire pressure. So on every vehicle, as long as you got stock tires, you know, you haven't put it in those big wheels or big beefy off-road tires, which is a whole nother story. Just look that up on the internet. For your stock vehicle, there's gonna be a sticker on the driver door right here. It tells you the size of the tire, and then the PSI for the tire. And on this tire, you want 33 PSI. That's pounds per square inch. That's basically how they measure how much air goes into a tire. So for this vehicle, it's 33 pounds per tire, all four corners. So, I'm gonna come over here. My lovely assistant here has already removed the valve stem cap. This is the valve stem. This is where you're going to check your tire pressure. You can either use one of these. These are pretty generic. You can get these for like a dollar or less at Walmart or any auto parts store. Or a little bit fancier one that's a little bit more accurate. They both will get the job done. So, would you mind? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So you're going to come down here, valve stem. We'll use, uh, we'll use the one that everybody else is, most people are going to have is just this guy right here. You're going to put this cap right here, or this end, excuse me, on the valve stem, seat it, and then push. And then it's going to show the tire pressure right here. Here's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and we're right at 33 PSI. So this tire is good. Now, 
if the tire is underinflated or overinflated, that's going to cause the tire to wear out quicker. It's going to give you less fuel economy and the performance of the vehicle is going to be lessened. So you wanted to keep it at whatever that sticker says just for optimum drivability. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this edition of Bobcat TV. See you next time. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Bobcats. Bobcats.